The Killer Bees season ended on a high note. Two weekend wins to help them clinch a playoff spot. Today, though, hockey put on hold. The Bees hit the links. And Action Force Brendan Fitzgerald was there. After an upswing of eight wins in their last nine games to put them in the playoffs, the RGV Killer Bees got a little R&R &R today, trading hockey sticks for golf clubs for a good cause. For well, the whole season, you're always thinking about hockey, 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 and it's just great to get outside and have fun and, and see the people who support you all year long. And you make a lot of new friends, and you know it, it's just good for us to come out here and know we're going to playoffs and get to let loose and have a little bit of fun. And while getting away from the rink for a day was a good thing, the playoffs loom, and the Killer Bees are one of the hottest teams in the CHL. We want to be rolling at the, at the end of the season and uh, you know that's what we're doing right now so it's uh, definitely exciting. The league's top overall team, the Wichita Thunder, the opponent in the first round. The Bees hope playing with pressure down the stretch will help them when the second season starts this weekend. I just got to play our game and you know go from there. Anything can happen playoffs, a new season, everything starts fresh. We're underdogs but that's okay. Underdogs can win also. After today the fun shifts to focus for the Rio Grande Valley Killer Bees for game one this Friday. Still some questions to be answered. Zach Pearson's wife is giving birth to their first child this week. He's expected to miss the first two games of the playoff series. And in goalie, Coach Terry Ruskowski not yet sure if Wiley Rogers or John Murray will get the start. One thing they are sure of is the Killer Bees have plenty of momentum as they head in to the first round series. With the Killer Bees, Brendan Fitzgerald, Action 4 Sports. Thank you, Brendan. Here is the playoff series, Bees and the Thunder. It starts in Wichita Friday and Sunday are the first two games. As you heard, Zach Pearson will not be there. First two games back in the Valley, Wednesday and Thursday, April 4th and April 5th, 7 o'clock, both of those games. Then it's back to Wichita, then back here, then back to Wichita. That's a lot of time on the bus. It should have been a 2-3-2 instead of it's a 2-2-1-1-1. But uh, you know what? They, they like those bus rides, I guess. <laughs> it's not that bad. Stay with us. We'll be right back.